G-Tube Guidelines for Medication Administration. The medication pass via G-Tube is much the same as the standard agency medication pass. Before beginning the medication pass, check the doctor's order against the MAR and make sure they match. Ensure you have the right person, the right route, which should be via G-Tube, the right dose, the right amount, and the right time. Okay, so now I need to determine what medications and any meals that I need to give via the G-tube for Timothy Jeremiah. Okay, there he is. So let's see, Timothy Jeremiah gets Depakine syrup at 8, Tegretol 200 at 8, he's not getting that. And for meals, Ensure and Flush with Water, okay. Allergy to nut shellfish, okay. So I'm going to remove the more, bring it to the script, so I have a better view of everything. So I'm going to start with the Depakine syrup, find that script, and it's right here. So Timothy Jeremiah, Timothy Jeremiah, Depakine syrup, Depakine syrup, 500 milligrams per 10 cc's, give 10 cc's via G-tube, at 8 a.m. and it is at 8 a.m. Read a little bit about it is for treatment of seizures. There's my side effects. I'm familiar with that. I have to give with food. We are going to give with food to avoid upset stomach upset. And now I'm going to look for Tegretol 200. And there's Tegretol 200. Timothy Jeremiah, Tegretol 200 milligram tablets, one tab via G tube daily at 8 a.m. and 10. I'm given 8 a.m. meds. It's for the treatment of seizures. Give with food to decrease GI upset. Okay. Check the doctor's orders for the amount of water which is to be flushed before and after each med. Okay, so I need to find out how much fluids I'm going to use between the meds. So here is my flushing with fluids. So Timothy Jeremiah, Timothy Jeremiah, flush peg tube with 30 cc's between meals and 10 cc's. So that's what I need. So Timothy Jeremiah, I'm going to write it down so I don't forget. 10 cc's of water between each med. Look at the medication information sheet to know what condition this medication is being used to treat and any additional special instructions to give the medication. Gather all equipment needed, towel or chucks, gloves, irrigation tray with a 60 cc syringe, room temperature water to flush. Take and record any vital signs needed. The medication pass. Be sure to wash your hands properly. Wet hands, apply soap, use friction for 20 seconds, rinse well, dry with paper towel. Check the medication label to the MAR twice before preparing the medication solution. and label the medication cup with the name of the medication. And once again before putting it away in the medication cabinet, totaling three checks. Prepare each medication separately
put the pill in the plastic sleeve in order to crush it with the pill crusher or use the mortar and pedestal. Dissolve the powder in about 15 cc's of warm water. and stir with a spoon or coffee stirrer. Capsules should be opened and mixed with 15 cc's of water and stirred well. A doctor's order is needed to open capsules. Capsules that are marked XR or SR, extended release capsules, cannot be opened. Do not mix medications or place crushed pills into liquid medication or formula. Explain what you will be doing to the individual and provide privacy. Hey Timothy, how you doing? I'm going to give you your meds. You know what you're taking, right? You're taking the Depakine syrup and you're taking the Tegretol 200. And basically that's all I'm going to do right now, okay? Expose the G-tube. Inspect the stoma site for redness, drainage, swelling, or odor. Check for placement. Call RN if you notice any problems. Ensure the individual is in a sitting position with head and shoulders at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Encourage the individual to participate to whatever extent he can. Expose his G-tube, hold the syringe, or pour the formula. Place the chucks or towel across the person's lap. Okay, I already washed my hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, but because I touched a couple of things, I need to make sure that I sanitize my hands. Wrists, they have to dry out. Put my gloves on. So I'm going to clamp the tube to make sure none of the Stomach contents come out. Open the cap on the G-tube. Attach the 60 cc syringe to the large port. Yeah, it's recording. Okay, so the first thing is you have to do your 30 cc flush with um, water. You let it fill by gravity, and you want to clamp to make sure that no air gets in. Now I'm going to do the medication. Pour that in. Use by gravity. No air. Clamp. Between the medications, because we have crushed everything up, you need to put 10 cc's of water to make sure that it all goes through. That's 10 cc's. And you just do the same thing. Clamp. And now I'm putting the last med in. And then I'm going to finalize it with the 30 cc's as the doctor prescribed. Put it in. I unclamp it. Put it, clamp it back. Okay, your meds are all done. Have a nice day. The individual must remain upright at a 45 to 90 degree angle for at least 60 minutes. Document on the MAR that the medication was administered. I'm checking the back of the mortar to ensure that I signed there and I already initialed and then I signed my name right there. And write any medical case notes necessary.